for those who don't, that's N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S-D-I-R-K-S. Ms. Coulter's announcement that she intends to come to this campus on April 27th without regard for the fact that we do not have a protectable venue available on that date is of grave concern. Our police department has made it clear that they have very specific intelligence regarding threats that could pose a grave danger to the speaker, attendees, and those who may wish to lawfully protest this event. At the same time, we respect and support Ms. Coulter's own First Amendment rights. Fortunately, that expanded search identified an appropriate, protectable venue that is available on the afternoon of May 2nd. While it is not one we have used for these sorts of events in the past, it can both accommodate a substantial audience and meet the security criteria established by our police department. Earlier today, we informed both the Berkeley College Republicans and the Coulter Organization of this development, and we look forward to working with them. If they want to bring a speaker to campus, we'll work well in advance of... We want this event to take place. We want our student groups to be able to bring speakers of their choice to this campus. We want to provide our students with access to a diverse array of perspectives. It's part of the educational mission. We can't do what we need to do on an academic level if our students exist in an echo chamber. So we look forward to working with them on what we hope will be a safe and successful event. There were also threats regarding the use of violence, improvised weapons, and such, similar to what we have seen locally in our region, definitely post the Milo event, and uh, on the March 4th and April 15th protests in the city of Berkeley.